I think against Patriot we have an amazing matchup. Against Control Warrior, I don't really know. I think against Control Warrior is like one of those long, drawn out slug fests that might go to fatigue and the relentless the relentless one attacks will eventually chip away all the armor. Our one damage attacks are relentless. I mean, when, when you have bad RNG in one area, they have to give you good RNG somewhere else. That's just uh, that's just the way they keep us coming back for more. That's how they keep us buying wing after wing, expansion after expansion, pack after pack. Because they give you the worst RNG of your life for knife juggling. But you top deck like a god. So They literally say to you, pick your poison. Would you like the red pill or the blue pill? This this is Hearthstone. Which one you want? You want Knife Jugger to always do what you want to do? Or do you want top decking like a god? Then a lights dim and shit. It gets all spooky. I. I don't like this. I really don't. My hand is pretty awful. Because this drops him. He gets dealt with so easily. And this could be a win condition if we do end up with the... That's why that was bad. Because I, like, I knew that was going to happen. Did I have another option? Of course not. The other option was tap. That, that was the other option. Tap. But I'm pretty sure it's patron though. Do you have the artifact? Oh, no police. At least patron? Is there such a thing? Yeah, it was just Sometimes when you play this game a lot, you just know when you play A, B is gonna happen, followed by C, followed by D, E, F, no U, fucking stuck with this game. I think that was good. The good news is if I get out Steve, it's not going to go anywhere. And Warriors don't really have a way to deal with Dredge Steve. Brawl instantly becomes terrible. Like this hand is so uh, mediocre at best. See, saying this mediocre is actually being like quite very polite. Look at Sludge Bros. This motherfucker looks hungry, though. He looked like he eat out of a dumpster. I'm just saying. He might not, but he looked like he would literally eat out of a dumpster. Tough, tough, tough. So I don't die to anything. Four, seven, Grom, 17. Yeah, so I died to Grom. 
Is that a realistic threat, though? I don't think so. I wonder. I mean, I could just dread steed and pack it. We just, we just so we don't die to like him having Rom and be exact lethal. Just, just one of those situations. I think I'll, I'll respect the potential of Grom enough to, even though he's only, before he do that, he was only 13 cards in. I am very unlucky. So we can clear the board here quite easily and make multiple dread steeds. So I think that's the play. If he has cruel task Grom and this, we were fucked to start with, all right? Because we got to float around a certain range of health at some point in time in this game. We I can still play around it with Sacrificial Pack. Cole! What's up, buddy? Colonator! All right, so brawls are no factor. We can't die because I've played both sacrificial packs. To make sure we don't die to bullshit. Um, we got BGH for any big threats. Brawl doesn't do anything. I mean, it saves his weapon, I guess. Maybe he's just throwing it away. We we use two power ones. We have a power one left in our deck, though, so we're free to tap now. <laughs> what good is playing this? I don't think any. All right, so we're in a good position. It feels good. It feels good. It feels right. It feels like snort cocoa on a porch on a Sunday morning. It just, it just feels right. Draw gold money. B, do it. Fucking loser. It's a loser. What do I want to draw? I don't think I want to draw anything. This is like the situation I was kind of afraid of. It's kind of like just doing nothing. Right now he's just throwing away cards. And we're kind of just doing nothing. Doing a whole lot of nothing. Obviously, we're going to enter fatigue first. Uh, just from the taps earlier in the game. Second brawl was suck ass. Um, that's about it. Execution other shit. Oh, you motherfucker. You see this? It was literally his next card. He drew it the next turn. How do I overcome it, guys? How do I overcome such amazing orange Jesus? Somebody tell me.
So it's pretty much Dread Steeds versus Legendaries. Let's see how we fare, boys. Let's see how we fare. Well, we don't have to worry about any brawls or anything else. We have to worry about him spamming Gormont. Not Gormont. But, um... Gorham. How do we win? Maybe if he got like a bunch of Millhouse Mana Storms, we stand a chance. Holy shit. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 I can do this. Oh, 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 oh. He doesn't have BGAs anymore. How does this die? He doesn't have BGHs anymore. I think I'm gonna win because of Rappi! <laughs> yes! Dread Steeds! Dread Steeds, I love you! I love you! I love you, Dread Steeds! 3, 6, 9, 12, 16. 3, 6, 9, 12, 16, 25. Ah, so close. So close. Could I draw lethal? Many possibilities. No, of course not. I am nothing but a mere man. Dress these against the world, mom! Hold on, wait. I don't want to do that. What do I want to play in this place, though? Eh, I guess we throw this up. He could Deathwing. He could Deathwing. Deathwing is an option here. Dread Steeds did it, boy. Fucking Dread Steeds did it. Fucking Dread Steeds did it. Who, who doubted Dread Steed? Who in the chat doubted Dread Steed? Fucking Dread Steed versus Legendary. Oh. Dread Steeds versus the Monkey. 